Unreal Engine structures are notoriously broken. There are countless examples of people complaining about this very problem. In my RPG game project, I use a struct called Equipment that houses all the information about the piece of equipment. So similar to me, my provision structure. Oh look what he did. Edited the enum variable by shortening the list of character classes. This caused the equipment struct to have compilation errors. Structs are driving me crazy. Hi guys, I'm continuously running into strange problems with structs, with no reason found. When I close and reopen the engine, it just crashes. Didn't want to start at all. Just crash over and over again. Oh well, look, there it is. <laughs> I'm encountering some issues with structs and making changes after they've been utilized. The structs I've changed have not had any variables removed, just unused ones. <laughs> Is it possible to do this without it being a nightmare? No. Structure variables get corrupted. This can randomly happen on compile. The variable using the structure will vanish in the variables list. In the graph it will show up as grayed out not found. This is a known issue. 2017. Update. This can even happen when you only change a default value inside a struct asset. So in short, structs are currently a buggy mess, any struct can get corrupted. I'm hoping this can at least be fixed in 4.17! What are we at? 5.42? The state of structs is atrocious. They have already been problematic two years ago! 2015! We're coming on 10 years of structs issues, guys. <sighs> okay, well, you get the point. Anyway, here is generally how to fix them and my alternative to using structs altogether. So what happens is the project will not open and it will not tell you why. Usually this error message, uh, I think every single time, it's been structures when I can't open my project. So first you have to, I was going to say close the project, but it's, it's crashing, you can't open it. So go into your structures location and remove them from the project. Don't delete them, just move them out of the folder and then start the project and then put them back. And then to make sure you can start the project you have to rename the problem structure. And this would be fine except this is what happens even after you've got the project to start again. You're gonna have to deal with <laughs> structure hell depending on how large your project is if you've only referenced it a couple times maybe it's not so bad but for an inventory system such as this where it heavily relies on structures that can be a serious problem and that's what this video is about so if you're at this point where the structures have imploded this is where i would say great opportunity to just cut them out So I used to have them all in the structures folder, in the data folder. And now it's just a single component. So all the values in the inventory that can change, it creates a component. So for every item you have, each one of these has a component tied to it. In an actor called the inventory container, because the inventory component is a component and it cannot have components itself. So I have to make another thing. So it, the component spawns the actor and it just kind of exists in the world and houses uh, and it houses these provision data components. So they have the quantity, durability for equipment, and you know, I realize that's really all I need. The rest of it, it references uh, data assets. So actually, in a case like this, if you didn't have any dynamic values, you could exclusively rely on data assets. So this is all the stuff that does not change. So it has defaults and static values. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, replace your structures with components and data assets. Because the thing is, once this happens, you're left with a choice. You can either go through all the references and recreate them with the existing structures again, 
or you can take action to make sure it never happens again. You'll still have to go through every reference and modify it, but it will never happen again. So that's just my perspective. Yes, you can absolutely fix the structures, but I just, you know, it's happened way too many times, so I'm done with structures. <laughs> I'm just done with structures. If you're worried about performance, I would say don't worry, because I had like six to 8,000 of these spawned in, <laughs> and it's still running at 120 FPS, so... I mean, as long as they don't tick, they're just data components. So yeah, that's uh, my position. Either way, I hope this gives you the knowledge to get your project back up on its feet, whatever you decide. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.